Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be addressing a lot of concerns around masking tape. This is the particular brand that I use, it's called Vinyl Ease, and what people say all the time in the comments is you can't use this on lasers. Um, they even have it on their website is what it says, you can't use on lasers. Well, um, I'm gonna tell you why they say you can't use this on lasers and what has occurred or happened and the reason why and why I think this all needs to be addressed um, and kind of talked about because nobody ever talks about it other than in chats and different things like that. So I figured I'd address that and then I'm gonna share with tips and tricks with you on using either this stuff or any other brand that now has that label on it. Um, so the reason why a lot of brands are putting can't use with lasers on there is because people are starting fires in their laser using masking tape. The reason why is it's not either applied right, they have low quality wood, um, the edge of it peels up and then it starts a fire and that person is not attending their laser to make sure a fire doesn't start. Um, the fact of the matter is after I went down like a rabbit hole of looking at different things, different reviews, responses from the company themselves, they said, listen, paper with lasers will equal a fire if not properly looked after. So that's pretty much why they put that label on there is they don't wanna be held liable for a fire. It's not that, it's like a chemical induced thing like with other stuff that you have in your laser, uh, like if you put plastic in it, that will create like a toxic gas. That's not the situation here. The situation is that you can start a fire. So I'm gonna say too, Anything that you put in your laser can catch on fire. If a fire happens in your laser, it's 100% your fault. You're not watching the laser. Anything that you're gonna put in there is basically getting incinerated. <laughs> so just note that you can create a fire with anything that is in your laser. Um, and if you buy something from a company and you're blaming the fire on them and you're giving them a bad review, you're just causing other people more confusion and creating all of these things where they have to put a label saying, hey, this can basically catch fire, but they just put, don't use this with a laser because they're selling this for t-shirts, but I've used this for years and years, probably six plus years with my laser, not one fire, not one issue, not even a peel up on the uh, little paper here. And there's a reason behind that. So we're gonna talk about the tips and tricks here. First up, don't use like a cricket squeegee here with just a flat blade on the end. Don't use that. Get yourself a nice squeegee here so you have the flat edge on both sides and then you got these ribs here. Once you apply this stuff down, you're going to use the flat edge to make it completely flat. Then you're gonna use these ribs to make it adhere better. You're gonna place it completely flat and work back and forth all the way across the board. That'll allow that glue on the back of this to activate better and hold on there better. So it doesn't peel up and then cause that fire with like the edge of the tip catching the beam in the wrong way. That's how a lot of this stuff can happen. And like I said, if you leave your machine unintended and you're not looking at it periodically, there's a fire in there and you can't put it out, that's 100% your fault. I'm sorry to say if that offends anybody, it's definitely your fault if there is a fire in your laser. It's not going to spontaneously combust. Um, the only way that it wouldn't be your fault is if like the tube breaks or something during that situation, that's unavoidable, but you still should be there to put out your machine or to unplug your machine in that situation. Now with all that said, this masking tape does not work well with uh, diode lasers because diode is a different wavelength, um, lighter, material just seems to bounce off. It's harder to wor work with it. It will work with a diode laser, but in my opinion, I haven't had good experience with that. But for CO2 lasers, for the past six years, I've been using this flawlessly. A couple other things you wanna keep in mind is the quality of your wood. So if you buy wood and it has like burrs everywhere, then it's not gonna hold well. What you wanna do is sand this down with like an orbital sander, make sure it's nice and smooth to the touch like this one is here. The other thing that you wanna do is uh, make sure that after you sand it down, you wipe off all of that sanded uh, like sawdust. So you wanna make sure it's free of any sawdust, no burrs on there, 
and then it should stick just fine. I'm not gonna redo this because this is an awkward angle, but what you'd want is you'd want like a machine that holds this roll for the easiest thing. You pull it all the way out and then start at the back and slide like that. And then you would use these ribs after it's down to activate that glue, like I said before. I'm not gonna redo it, but I do have a video that's like three minutes long that shows you exactly how to do it. Everything I recommend on it, it's a pretty old video, but it's got quite a bit of views there and everybody's uh, used it and found it helpful. So I'll go ahead and put a link to it right up here. Um, other than that, I hope you guys found this interesting. And like I said, if you're gonna use this product and you use it incorrectly, don't give the buyer or the sellers negative reviews for something that is actually a good product and cause issues for the rest of the industry. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. If, we, uh, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and then click that link up there for that video that I was talking about on how to apply this.